Coach Greg is lying. Listen to what this guy's saying. He literally makes a video saying, don't buy Turk Builder, but what do you hear the hidden message in everything he's saying? Coach Greg, in today's video, guy is calling me out. He actually bought my Turk Builder, made a video and says he recommends that nobody uses it. And so we're gonna watch the video, we're gonna see why, and I'm gonna address the points he's making. And so get ready for your popcorn, people. You guys think I'm hiding? Do you think I won't react to videos that are not supportive of my products? I am highlighting all the videos, good or bad. Whether he says it's shit, it sucks, it's snake oil, whether he says it's amazing, I do videos on everything. I'm not lying, let's get right into it. It starts the video by saying, warning. If you or someone you know is considering the consumption of turkestrone, understand this substance is not highly researched or studied and is relatively new to the supplement industry. Take at your own risk. Turkestrone has been abused for hundreds of years in Uzbekistan, in Asia. It's just, it's in a different country. I live in Canada, you're probably in the United States, and you're not aware of all the studies, the research done in different parts of the world. But newsflash, in North America, which has less than a billion people, there's seven, eight billion people on this planet, and so there are tons, as in billions of other people, that are using products that you don't even know about. And so just because we haven't researched it doesn't mean it isn't well researched. There's this thing that's now kind of uh, going wild on the internet. I've never tried it, but it's called Turkesterone. Turkesterone. Yeah, they call it Turk. Equ equivalent to Deca? Essentially. Wow. And so that was complete nonsense bullshit. Turkestrone is nothing like Deca Durabolin in the slightest. It does in fact have steroid-like effects. And I got in that to video, people were starting to hate me. He says it builds as much muscle as steroids. It's not what I said. Steroid-like effects, as in it makes you more aggressive, makes it harder to sleep. Ever heard of transomnia? And so if you take Turk Builder and you're like me, you need to take it earlier in the day. If you take it before bed, you can have so much energy, you're not gonna wanna sleep. And so if anything, creatine is more like Deca. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, creatine makes you hold on to more water. You look more bloated, soft. Many people actually think you need to cut out creatine because you're gonna be more water intensive, more bloated. When you take Deca, you can get a moon face, you're puffier looking. When you take Turk Builder, you look way leaner. Makes you harder, drier, leaner. More similar to something like Halo tested. Oh, but Coach Greg, he's a snake oil salesman because he's telling you the truth about what it does. I'm not saying it's stronger than Halo Testin. I'm not saying it builds more muscle than Trenbolone. But what I am saying is it can negatively affect your sleep. It gives you a lot of energy, gonna increase your aggression in the gym. So what do I think about it? I took it for about four days and uh, this is supposed to be the real stuff, right? Was proven to have turkestrone in it. And so it's been proven, it is turkestrone, it's not a scam, it's not snake oil. Now remember, if you tried other people's turkestrone, I have no guarantees. I don't know if they used a mass spectrometer, I don't know what kind of testing they did, but if you're using my Turk Builder, you know it's actually Turk, you know it's gonna work. And so he's used it for four days. Is four days long enough to know if it works or not? You're thinking, it's only four days, there's no way. It is. In four days, you're gonna feel it. Most products, you won't feel it that fast. Took it, and then I went to the gym and hit legs. It was pretty much instant. I felt, it was kind of weird. It was kind of like, uh, like what caffeine does to you. It gave me that energy. The muscles had a lot of, uh, you know, feel in them, it felt like. And so on day one, he felt it. Notice day one, the first day, went to the gym, he noticed it. And so does it sound like it's snake oil? If this guy, remember, did I pay him to say not to take this product? He's got 534 followers, 81 views on this video. Do you think I paid him to make a video to say all this stuff? And remember, he took one capsule, could feel one. How many products out there do you think you could notice by taking half the suggested dosage? Remember, I often take three. I take even more than the label suggests. And so your paps are thinking, well, it's gotta be the placebo effect. Well, you know it's got Turk in it. We've proven that, but let's see what else he says about Turkesterone. So I took one the next day in a row. I believe I did not work out that day. It was just a rest day recovery, right? And that night, I had a hard time falling asleep. And so on day two, the guy literally is having a hard time falling asleep. Remember, he took in the morning because he listened to Coach Greg. And remember what I said in the past that I had to stop taking it because literally only needed three, four, five hours of sleep. And I'm thinking, 
How is this possible? How did I go from having narcolepsy, guy that falls asleep all the time, to having so much energy every single day? And so if you're somebody that is like me and experiencing sleep difficulties, I want you to take Turk Builder in the morning. Remember, it's better to take in the morning. The energy factor is going to help you all day long. And so what you can do is take Ecti Builder later in the day. And so you can lead with Turk Builder in the AM and Ecti Builder in the PM. Both of these can help you to build muscle. And so that is what I recommend. But I didn't get like, I got six hours of sleep, I believe. So it wasn't too bad. But usually I try to hit eight, right? For that maximum recovery. And so remember, he went from eight hours of sleep to six. Could it be the placebo effect? Did he in fact think, oh, I'm not going to sleep because I'm taking it? But remember, he took the day off the gym, and so we just don't know. But let's see day three. Fourth day, I took it. Felt great. Went to the gym, and uh, I was already feeling a lot leaner almost. I could tell that I was a lot more cut. And so by day three and day four, he's taken Turk Pill. Remember, one pill a day, and he felt more cut, more lean, drier exactly how I feel. I literally am going in the gym and anyone that's out there watching me training the gym, what do you guys think? You can see my vascular. You think I'm pumped up when I post photos in the morning. I haven't got a pump. I'm not working out. If you saw me in the gym, pumped up, doing side laterals, bicep curls, you'd say, oh my goodness, what steroids are you on, Coach Greg? I'm thinking, I'm on HRT. I look like this every single day I go to the gym. And remember, I'm 48 and I'm telling you, Turk Builder, it's amazing. My opinion, it should be banned by water. I think it's so good. It gives such an advantage that anyone using Turk Builder is going to be at a significant advantage over their opponents. And don't forget, I'm just giving you my opinion. If you don't believe me, if you don't think that I'm telling you the truth, then that's on you. Why are you even watching my videos? But anyone that knows me, I have integrity. I'm being honest with you. I'm not sugarcoating this. I'm not pretending it's something it isn't. I'm just giving you the cold hard facts and I'm watching his video and I'm reacting to what he is saying. Felt strong, really strong, a lot of energy. And it was almost like I didn't even need a pre-workout, which was interesting. And so perhaps if you're using Turk Builder, you can go to the gym and you can stop your pre. And so imagine this, pre-workout is caffeine, other stimulants, perhaps that's affecting your sleep. And so if you drop the dose of your pre-workout and take Turk Builder, you can go to the gym, train hard and last time, and perhaps that will help you to not fall asleep. Perhaps the combination of having too much caffeine as well as Turk Builder, that is negative affecting your sleep. Now, my personal experience is that over time, you do in fact get used to Turk Builder. I've taken it for a long time. After several months, I'm now accustomed to it. I have great sleep. It's not affecting me negatively, but I can promise you that previously, I didn't know if I could supplement with this. I built up to three pills a day. It said take one to two maximum. And I went up to three, stopped for a while and started back at one, two and so on. And I'm currently taking three pills a day and I am sleeping with no problem. And so I take two to three pills of Delta sleep about 30 minutes before I'd like to go to sleep. I study my Spanish and then I pass out faster than last time. And don't forget all the haters. I want you to write, Coach Greg, this is an ad. I don't like you, Coach Greg, because you're trying to make money. You're trying to make a living off of the hard work that you've done dedication that you've done for decades. I hate you for being successful. Thanks. Keep commenting harder than last time. And then that night, I couldn't fall asleep. It was even worse. I got a little less sleep. And uh, I was like, okay, this is not the way I want to feel. Right? It didn't make me feel good. If it was just the placebo effect, would it really last for one, two, three, four days? Would he go from having eight hours of sleep to six based on the placebo effect? Well, maybe. I don't want to say yes or no, but what he's saying is when you take Turk Builder, it gives him so much energy, he doesn't even really need a pre-workout, and it makes it more difficult for him to fall asleep. I'm not going to hide the bad things that this is and say, oh, it has no negative side effects. You'll sleep like a baby. No, I'm being honest. And then I was like, okay, I'm done. I'm not doing this because it's just, it made me feel like crap. I was anxious. I had a little bit uh, aware of everything and everything kind of, I was more irritable. This is the interesting part. This guy is 100% natural. He's never used steroids. When I use steroids, for example, Trenbolone or Tren Ace, Tren Anenthate, it made me feel exactly like he's describing. You just don't feel good within your own skin. It's in other words, too much. And so what he's experiencing is similar feelings to taking Trenbolone. And so when I said steroid-like effects, oh, you're a horrible human being for saying it. Does it not sound like it has steroid-like effects? So far we're hearing it's making it harder from the sleep. He went from eight hours sleep to six. It's given him a ton of energy, but he's more self-aware. He's feeling anxious. 
And remember, I'm being very transparent. I'm not hiding these things. I'm not telling you it's free of negative side effects. I'm saying if you take this, you got to be careful. You start with one pill. If you can handle it, you go to two. Not everyone is the same. Some people are more sensitive. Some people can't even handle HRT. They're on low-dose HRT and they have anxiety. They can't do it. I've coached tons of people, thousands of people using performance and anti-drugs. Some guys are like, I can't handle that 300 milligrams of EQ. It's going to give me so much anxiety. Really? EQ at 300 gives you an anxiety? How are you going to turn pro? This stuff here does not come without side effects, okay? A lot of you might think, Turkestrone has no side effects. No, definitely has some side effects. And they're not positive ones. And so does it look like I'm sugarcoating? Do you think I could have overlooked this video? Do you think I could have just passed by it? Oh, he's saying it has negative side effects. Let's just not promote the video. 81 views in two weeks. 81 views, yet I'm highlighting it. I'm explaining about the negative consequences, but Coach Greg is a bad person for selling Turkestrone, which he in fact loves. I love this supplement. It's the best one, but not all of you are going to like it. If you take performance enhancing drugs, do you not think the side effects could be far worse from Turk Builder? This is not banned by WADA. Oh, shame on you, Coach Greg, for having an alternative to steroids. Not that it's going to build as much muscle as steroids. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to stand here and lie and say, yeah, it's good, but it's not as good as creatine? You know, creatine's been researched. It puts on perhaps one or two kilograms of muscle in a month from water retention, so on. It increases the saturation of water inside the muscle. It's going to make you more full. I'm going to give you more of a watery look. This stuff makes you look grainy hard. It makes you drier. If you're 25% body fat and you take Turk Biller, it's not going to make you look like you have rock hard abs. But when you're Coach Greg and you're at 7.5% body fat and you take it, you notice the shit and you notice it immediately. Not just in the drive in the gym, but in the appearance. It feels like I'm taking Halo Testin. I'm not lying. I'm telling you what it makes me feel. And so if I took a tab of Halo Testin, let's call it 10 milligrams, and I go to the gym, I train with more aggression. I feel it, and I'm harder. Why do you think I would take Halo before entering a competition? It makes me look more grainy. It gives me more energy. And when I'm seriously deficient in calories, I'm in a severe calorie deficit with very low body fat levels, and I have absolutely no energy, can barely get it to the gym. I'm taking anything and everything to get there. And yeah, it's not healthy. And yes, it's dangerous. And I don't recommend it. But notice, I haven't competed in over four years. I've stopped. I'm now healthy. And so if this is an alternative to halo testing or trend, that it can help you to perform better in the gym with the side effect of, well, you're not going to sleep as well. And perhaps you have some anxiety, but it does give you energy. You might not need a pre-workout. I'm just being open, honest, and transparent. And as I always say, with knowledge comes power. I'm giving you the knowledge. I'm telling you the good, the bad, the ugly of Turkestrone. And in the end, you decide if you want to use it. I mean, you just felt a lot better in the gym. And I think it was putting on muscle. And it was lean. It was it was interesting. Just kind of gauge my uh, progress by the lifts and how I look and so forth. Doesn't it sound pretty impressive? Sounds impressive, aside from the side effects. Imagine if he had said none of the bad, none of the negative side effects. No anxiety, no self-awareness, never affected sleep. What did you hear? It made him stronger, look better, grainier, harder, better. Sounded pretty amazing, didn't it? This is not something I recommend, okay? I do not recommend Turkestrum. This stuff right here does not make you feel good. Am I saying you should all use it? I don't think so. If you're a teenager, absolutely no. No way a teenager should be using Turk Miller. I don't care if it's not banned by WADA. I personally think it should be banned. I don't think athletes should be allowed to use it. It gives you too much of an advantage. That's my personal opinion. Oh, but you're a snake oil salesman. You say anything. I'm telling you what I think. I'm 100% honest. And remember, it's just starting to get popular. And the reason why it's not more popular than last time, it's because it's so hard to get the lengths that we went. Think of it. It's in its Beckett scan. And you know it's in limited quantities. Have I not been sold out almost all the time? How often you go on a website, you went to buy it, and it was sold out? I'm trying, but notice, I'm not going to cut corners. I'm not going to sell you some scam snake oil to say, oh, it's Turkestrone. Trust me, when it isn't. Remember, it's third-party tested, and the third-party results are on the website. There's proof it's not a scam. Turkestrone is in Turk Builder. And the thing is, and I don't know if it's, I, I kind of doubt that it's very healthy if it made me feel like that. You know, not getting enough sleep is something you need. You need sleep. Being anxious all the time, it's not good for your mental health. It's like... Imagine if he took steroids. Perhaps you say, oh my goodness, it's 10 times worse. Is he simply a guy that's really sensitive to these things? Perhaps if he'd taken half a capsule, that would have been enough for him. Remember, I wanted to make the dose very strong. I wanted people to actually notice it. I wanted people to buy Turkestrone, Turk Builder, and say, 
Yeah, it works. I feel it. I could have put in a quarter of the dose. Could have put in far less. Made more money. Think of it. If I'm putting in less product and sell it for the same price, I'm going to double my profits. But no, I wanted people to use it and say, wow, Coach Greg, you've gone and done it. I can't believe I doubted you. I know that many people have said horrible things about me over the last couple of years, but I always believed in you. I knew you were a man of your word, that you had integrity. I think that uh, we don't know enough about it. And do I recommend normal steroids? No, and I've never taken them, and I don't recommend it because we know the side effects. And so although this potentially has side effects of making you have less sleep or perhaps some anxiety, at least it doesn't shut your body down. At least it doesn't negatively affect your blood work. It's not going to give you a heart attack. You're not going to get a stroke from this. It's not going to cause any of those horrendous side effects that you can get from steroids. Not to mention the acne, the high blood pressure, the high cholesterol, the gynecomastia, the hair falling out. You know, a lot of these things that people care about a lot more than, a, for example, a heart attack. Not going to do that. And so do you not think that perhaps Turk Builder could be a safer alternative to SARMs and or steroids or performance enhancing drugs in general? Okay, I'm thinking about taking steroids and it's like, I'm not sure and I want to take something so I'm still natural, right? So you're still natural when you take trichesterone, right? It, it's, it doesn't seem like a healthy route. If a guy wants to take steroids, his heart's set on it, and you tell him don't take Turk Builder as an alternative, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to take steroids. And so if you've decided to take steroids, you don't like your body, whatever, you're doing it for whatever reason, you want a body, but whatever. To just say to someone, no, nope, you just don't take it. It's like saying, don't do drugs. They said that in the 80s. How did that work? Just don't do it. Easier said than done. And so is it a safer alternative to steroids? I certainly think that I presented enough evidence to say that the side effects of this are less than steroids. If the side effects of this were equal or worse than steroids, do you think I would actually be selling it? Do you think it would be legal? Of course it would be banned. Even peptides, SARMs, and so on, they're bad in those. Not for human consumption. Last I checked, this is in fact for human consumption. And so it's at least safer than SARMs, yet people are using SARMs faster than last time. And so if the side effects of Turk Builder are just too scary for you, you just can't handle it, you're just, no, it's not for me. Ecti Builder. Still effective. Still works, not gonna affect your sleep. Perhaps could even help you to get more sleep. Take it later in the evening. And so there is in fact a safer alternative. And so if you decide to use Turk Builder, it's up to you. And creatine is the number one supplement I, supplement I recommend. I don't take whey protein powder. I don't take any protein powders because it's full of sugar and a bunch of crap. And so the credibility of him in scientific literature, a little bit down, he just says, I don't take whey protein because it's full of sugar. The label is not lying, I promise you. So let's look at this, maple cookie. Sugar, total sugars, zero. I don't appreciate when people lie about things. I don't think he's lying on purpose. I think he's probably thinking, oh, it's got artificial sweetener and so he tastes sweet, so he assumes it's sugar. And unless he's perhaps been watching too many Eddie Abu videos, he thinks everything is sugar. Rice is sugar, pasta is sugar, fruits are sugar, everything is sugar. It's not all sugar, people. The way that creatine affects you is it basically, I feel like it helps me recover faster. It gives my muscles more nutrition. Turkestrone just kind of was like an energy boost. It was kind of weird. And so I wouldn't compare turkestrone to creatine. They're two different things. But if you're looking at which puts on more muscle, which helps you to look leaner, drier, harder than last time, more athletic, I certainly think turkestrone much better for that. In comparison, creatine, you're not really going to notice taking it. You take creatine, if you had your eyes closed and said, did you feel anything in your workout probably not but turkestron you're like yeah what did you give me and it's not caffeine it's not a stimulant but you do have more energy more power more drive it's as if you're more androgenic you're more manly remember there are anabolic androgenic steroids and when you take halotestin it's very very androgenic not very anabolic halotestin hardly puts on any muscle but it gets you more aggressive in the gym you can attack the weight you can train harder and so in particular if you're dieting natural for a bodybuilding competition, you're in a calorie deficit and you have lack of energy. This is absolutely desired for. This is what you're looking for. You will feel so much more aggressive, so much more energy, be able to train harder than last time, which is exactly what you need to help prevent you from losing muscle when dieting harder than last time. Greg Dusset said this stuff made him lose his appetite. I was the exact opposite. I feel like eating way more. My body felt like it was kind of starving. It was like, I need this, I need this, I need this. People that took it for the first time, they're waking up in the middle of the tight and eating. They never wake up up in the middle of the night and eat, yet that's what they're doing. And so my opinion, this is what's happening. Nutrient partitioning is occurring. When you're building more muscle than last time, a lot of the calories in the foods that you're eating are being used to build muscle. 
And so rather than turning to stored body fat, they're turning to muscle. And so a side effect of that is your body is increasing ghrelin, making you hungrier. Why? Because it's signaling that you need more nutrients because you're in fact building muscle. You need more calories. Your body senses that a lot of the calories that you're eating are being used up. And so it wants you to eat more. And so what do you think happens when you, for example, take testosterone, SARMs, and so on? You're building muscle at an accelerated rate, perhaps 10 times faster than normal. And so what do you do? You get hungrier. And so when you're a bikini competitor, bodybuilder doing your first competition, and you're like, wow, I can eat 2,000 calories a day on my diet. You know why? You know why you're dieting on 2,000 calories? Because 500 of those calories are being used to build muscle every single day. And so later on in your prep, years later, you're doing the exact same cycle. You're doing the exact same show prep. Why can't I eat 2000 calories anymore? I'll tell you why. Because you've already built your muscle. You're already at homeostasis. And so you don't need those additional 500 calories to help you build the muscle that you need. The second prep you do, you're trying the same diet. It's not working. Oh, my metabolism's gone to shit. No, it's just that you've already made those newbie gains, those newbie steroid gains, and now you need to lower your calories. And so if you've take Turk Builder for the first time and you start putting muscle on faster than ever before, your metabolism is going to go up because you're needing to eat more foods because of nutrient partitioning. The calories that you're eating, they're being converted to muscle. Does that not sound impressive to you? And so, oh, Coach Greg is lying. Listen to what this guy's saying. He literally makes a video saying, don't buy Turk Builder. But what do you hear the hidden message in everything he's saying? Turk Builder helps you build more muscle, makes you leaner, stronger, more energy. Yeah, it comes with side effects, but what does it that actually works? But this stuff is crazy and it does work. Full stop. This stuff is crazy and it does work. Full stop. I could have just made the video here. 10 second video. This stuff is crazy and it does work. But no, I wanted to show you everything. The good, the bad, the ugly. The side effects, what it does, everything. Have I been honest? Have I hidden anything from you? Are you disappointed with this video? It's just an ad. Or did you learn something? Did you learn what Turkesterone can actually do? This guy has no incentive to lie. I don't know him. I don't pay him. I don't sponsor him. Nothing. He doesn't have a discount code. He's saying, I don't recommend it. He said, why? The end decision, if you want to use it, it's up to you. I've heard what he said. And in the end, the stuff is crazy and it does work. And remember, if somebody has said, oh, I use that Turkesterone stuff. I bought it from this guy, this other YouTube guy, this person, that person. I've tested several other people's products and I haven't found anything that's legit as of yet. And so as far as I know, I'm the only company that I've tested that actually has what it's saying. And so if you've tried other people's products and said, oh, it doesn't work. Coach Greg is a liar. It's snake oil. Have you used mine? And so I challenge you, I double dog dare you, get all the Coach Greg haters, Jeff Nippard in particular, because I know he won't lie. And if Jeff uses Turk Builder, he's going to make a video and say, I apologize, Coach Greg. I was wrong. Turk Hesterone, unfreaking believable. Message Biolane, message Andrew Huberman, message everyone. Challenge them. Try Coach Greg's Turk Builder and tell me the results. I want to see what they say because, boy, I can't wait to make all the millions of people eat their words. Can't wait for the world to rediscover Turkesterone. Remember, it's not just me who's gone out and tested all the various Turkesterones. There's also Cohen et al. tested several different Turkesterones, found them all to be bunk. It wasn't what was in the label. Coach Greg's, the ones I've sourced, have taken two years. It's exactly what it says it should be. Let me know in the comment section if you've actually used Turk Builder from Coach Greg. Let me know how it worked, how it didn't work, the side effects. What did you feel? Did it feel the same like this? Could you get your sleep? Did you have more energy? Did you look leaner? Give me all of the details. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment to boost the algorithm. Don't forget to watch one of those two bloops. And of course, coaching plans by me and my team, phone consults, the cookbooks, the training books, the circle diet book, all in hard copy PDF. Head over to my website. And until next time, I am out.